everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all doing great. In this episode right here, uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys about styling our sign-in and sign-up form. So let's take a look at what we have. Right now we have the sign-in form, and if I go to the sign-up, uh, it's just an empty page. Now, if you think about it, the sign-up form is going to be mostly very similar uh, to the sign-in form. It's going to have a sign uh, sign in button or a sign-up button or a register button, and it's going to have an email and a password. And maybe on the sign-up form, we will have two fields like password and password confirmation uh, or any other stuff that we have. But essentially, it's going to have a few components that is um, used, uh, you know, again and again. So, for example, the email, like, you know, filling out the, the field, the input field here, it can be the same between the sign in and the sign up form. Um, and so, you know, like all these components can be reused between the two pages. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to start to create some sort of a design language um, you know, in our app, like previously we just used like very simple stuff, just a pure CSS stuff. Uh, so we're going to still use pure CSS, but what we're going to do is we're going to start to create a design language, like an input form is going to be styled a certain way. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to abstract all that into uh, mixins uh, using SAS. Uh, and then basically we're going to reuse those components uh, in our app, uh, you know, for more reusability of codes. Uh, so yeah. That's pretty much what we're going to be focusing on. And, uh, you know, I just want to do that because I want to create a really nice looking UI for us. Uh, as I mentioned, I, I'm really inspired by Heroku as a product, as a company. So we're going to be doing a lot of that, um, you know, like making things look really, really pretty. So let's start off. Uh, I have this uh, UI gradients generator thing here. Uh, really, really nice website. And basically what we can do is we can use uh, drop this in and it'll, we can use his gradient over here so i really like this visions of grandeur um color scheme like the blue uh you can if you come here on your own you can choose which one you like so they have a ton of really really great looking uh gradients which you can pick from so yeah deep space looks pretty cool looks pretty badass if you're into that stuff um, and uh, they, they have one from Stripe. You know, if you look at the uh, Stripe website, uh, you'll see it has a very beautiful gradient uh, here. Uh, they actually have one in here called Stripe as well, uh, if I remember correctly. So let's see the Stripe. There it is. So you can use this if you want. Um, this Purple Paradise one looks pretty pretty nice as well. Um so yeah, uh, you know we're gonna use one of these gradients and let's make a beautiful looking UI. Let's start. So um, yeah, the visions of grandeur one looks aquamarine looks pretty good as well. Um, so yeah, so maybe let's start with with this uh, and then go from there and then uh, yeah and see how we go. Let's see um, something like I I want to do the visions of grandeur so. Visions of grandeur. There we go. Do a rotate. Yeah, it looks okay. Let's do a like a top to bottom kind of thing. Something like that looks good. So I'm just going to copy this linear gradient code over here. Uh, and then basically we're going to use it in our style sheet. Uh, so I'm going to head over here uh, and in the sessions new, uh, I'm going to style the, the entire page to make it look really, really pretty. Um, all right, so here we are. We have the div sign in form. So let's put the gradient in there. So sign in form over here. So background, paste that in like that. Uh, so I want to make sure that I record these colors as well. But for now, we'll leave it. Uh, it's it's okay. We just want to get everything working first. So I'm gonna head back to the sign in. So it's fine. I mean, it, it's like it's you know it's the content is only like that much. So now it's it's highlighting just that much. So what we need to do is we we need to style this page so it spans. It takes up the entire uh, width and height of the the viewport over here. Uh, to make this work. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a um, let's first take a look at what this space is up here and try to remove that. We don't need that space anymore. Uh, so I'm going to head over into here. Look at the app. Look at the root. The form uh, has a, a margin top of 3 EM, which we can remove. Uh, let's see why it's still not stuck to the top. Okay, um, so the form has a margin top. Let's remove that. So now it's to the top. Is it to the top? There's a little bit of space left over here. Um, 
So uh, let's see why that is. Aha. So the email field here, the email label has uh, some kind of a... So I, what I actually want to do is um, this sign in, like uh, let's call it the wrapper. Not like the, you know, the yo, like, yeah, so wrapper, but just the wrapper that goes around stuff. Um, yeah, so I just made a really bad joke there. Um, yeah, so the sign in wrapper, and then basically when we have, we have a div, and then we're going to put the form inside so it doesn't, you know, we have more, a little bit more control. So right now it's kind of just like the form is just like directly in there. And we want to change this to the wrapper. Yeah. And then we have a div. Something like that. And then basically, yeah, that should be better. And now what we can do is we can um, we can create some kind of like a padding uh, for this div over here. Uh, so let's try that. So I'm going to do a direct div, direct descendant, and then just do a padding of like uh, 2EM, something like that. So that fixed the issue with the gap at the top. Um, so now we have a problem. We got to make this thing kind of like span the whole height. Uh, how do we do that? So let's do some positioning. Uh, so bottom zero. And then we have like a position absolute. Yeah. Top zero. And then uh, left zero. And then uh, right zero. Boom. There we go. So we managed to get the sign in wrapper to kind of like span the whole space. Like it's basically it's going to take up the viewport. So if you didn't know, that's a trick. If you do position absolutely in top left, right bottom, it just, poof, you know, like takes up the whole space. Uh, yeah, so we're doing a little bit of CSS in this as well, which is great. Um, I feel that you know, when you're building React apps, you kind of have to know some CSS. So I guess that's a CSS trick you can use if you don't already know it. Um, so yeah, that's starting to look pretty good. Uh, so what we need to do is get the color scheme a little bit better. We need to put this box kind of like in, make it like, a, you know, in a white box with the rounded corners to make it look pretty. Uh, so let's go ahead and do just that. So in this div over here, let's do a background white. Let's see how that looks. Aha. So um, that div uh, should not have a, it should, the width should not be in the form. It should be over here like that. Aha. There we go. Uh, so now uh, we need to move this margin left and margin auto into this div as well to put it in the middle like that. There we go. So now it's starting to look good. Um, we need to put, like bring that, form down some margin top 3 em or more or not uh, so the margin I guess should be in here margin top 3 em whoa what happened there I guess I accidentally minimized uh, yeah maybe a little bit more down because we can ha add a, a nice logo like a like a signature for our app um, so maybe like 10 em even. Yeah. Uh, how about 15 EM? Yeah, it looks pretty okay, right? I mean, it's starting to come along. Uh, so we can add a little bit of uh, uh, rounded corners into here as well. So a uh, border radius, uh, 0 0.2 EM. Um, there we go. Um, starting to look pretty sharp. Uh, so all we really need to do now is, uh, you know, make, give it like a, a little bit of a, 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 a shadow. So like a box shadow of some sort. Um, so yeah. Box shadow, box shadow, 0 0.2 EM, 0 0.2 EM. And then we don't want to blur it. So it's going to be 0 EM. Uh, and the color should be something dark. So maybe we can try like something like that. Um, uh, maybe a little bit too dark, but it's, it's, it's not that bad, you know? Um, yeah, let's try zero, zero and give it a little bit of a blur. Maybe that'll help. It's starting to look real good. So let's try 0 0.4. 
Yeah, that kind of works, right? Uh, let's take a look at Heroku. I mean, it's not going to be exactly the same. Uh, so one thing we need to do as well is like this button, this green button. Uh, we need to kind of like change the color scheme to kind of match uh, with this whole blue thing we're, we're going to have going. Um, so we need to style the, the blue stuff as well. So let's do that in the next episode. Uh, for now, let's uh, wrap it up, this up. And then uh, in the next episode, we're going to be continuing to style this login form to make it look really like professional and nice and fancy. All right, guys, if you like this episode, like it, uh, share and subscribe to our channel. Uh, also become a member for just nine bucks a month to get access to all of our backlog all the Rails API content, all the React Foundation and the Rails Foundation content and Docker, tons of content. Uh, and we have tons of exciting news coming for the site as well. Uh, so yeah, with that, I'm going to wrap it up and I will see you guys in the next episode.